All right, you guys, we're going to get straight into this. The first six things you should do when you're doing Red Dead Online story mode. Number one, go collect the $500. So you got through chapter one. That was a whole like tutorial or something like that. And then you're in chapter two and you're at Horseshoe Overlook. You're over here in the Heartlands area. Right in the Heartlands area beside Horseshoe Overlook. You can just pause where I just had the map at. You're going to see this area. You're going to see a lot, bunch of little boxes and it's going to be called Lipany. Um, in here you can find a free gold bar so if you get straight into it and like you're in chapter 2 and you don't know what to do first instead of getting straight into the missions go get you some money first so that when you're like doing things if you want to keep your honor up to a higher level you want to um, already have some money because a lot of people lose their honor just trying to make some money on the side so if you go ahead and start by going to get this gold bar and start with $500 you know you'll be alright you know to start the game because throughout the missions that you play you're going to be making money throughout the uh, each mission that you do um, some worth more than others but I would say get this $500 gold bar first um, and it's in Lipany I would say just uh, if you didn't see where it was I'll point back at to where my location on the map but you'll see there's a gold bar in my satchel if you ever want to access your satchel just hold right on the d-pad also, there's a pamphlet in there for horse stimulants, so you want to use that too. In order to use the pamphlets, you have to open and read them to use it as a skill. So if you just pick up the pamphlet and don't read it, you're not going to have it as something that you can use. You have to read the pamphlets. We well, don't actually have to read it. You just got to open it. But this is where I am. Right there by the Heartlands, you see Horseshoe Overlook and this Limpany. Right in this area is where the $500 gold bar is. It's like the third building on the right. It says sheriff on it. It says sheriff on it. So, and that's where you know behind the desk you'll get it. All right. Second thing you need to do is start picking oregano, wild mint, and creeping thyme, and you need to kill a big game animal, like a big game animal is like a bear or like a um, a like cougar, elk, something big, but an elk or something like that, and it'll be big game meat. This is a good, I figured this out later on in the game, but this is a good feature to have. If you go ahead and pick up, I'm in the same area on the map, I'm right over it still in the heartlands. You're going to see that wild mint, oregano, and thyme seems to come, creeping thyme seems to come in threes. All you're going to do is hit in on your left and right stick, so double click your left and right stick in, and it's going to put you in eagle eye, and in eagle eye you can see plants so that it'll light up like that the screen will turn blue or orange it also works when you're looting a house and stuff but the eagle eye is really good for you to find plants in the area that you can just pick um, and plants are good for crafting and giving you like boosts of what you need but oregano wild mint and thyme anytime you see it go ahead and pick it up um, so yeah you'll see I'm in this area I found right over here by uh, where we were just at in Limpany I found those plants I went up a little bit further north towards Valentine and I found the thyme, the creeping thyme. I'll show you guys right here. So yeah, we were at Limpany and now I just went up a little bit north because I'm headed towards Valentine. And in this area is where I found the creeping thyme. Creeping thyme is best because creeping thyme mixed with, crafted with big game meat gives you a inside core for your dead eye. So instead of just the outside being yellow, you can get the inside being yellow. So you you want to be sure to pick up those three whenever you see them. Oregano, wild mint, creeping thyme. And whenever you get a chance, even if you don't need another big game animal, any big game meat is always good because you can stow it. After you craft it, you can stow it. And... Um, you'll be able to use it so say you're getting ready to go into a fight or something instead of just taking a tonic you can eat any pre-cooked meat like I'm going to show you guys right now I'm going to craft some you can eat any pre-cooked meat that you stowed and now you're going to fill up your cores um, the inside of your cores so it's going to give you even longer amount of time um, not to run out of dead eye or health or stamina so you go into crafting you go to your weapons wheel go down to the camp site start a camp and then you're going to go crafting under provisions and you're going to look for big game meat it only works with big game meat the other ones you can craft it but it doesn't give you that gold core 
So you go to Big Game Meet and then you press right on the D-pad and it'll show you which one does. So the oregano works for the stamina, the wild mint works for your heart and your health, and the creeping time works for your um your dead eye. So as you can see, like I'm I'm crafting the one with the time right now. And so I'm gonna stow some and then I'm going to like I only had when I first started in if you did that bear mission with Hosea, if you do the mission with Hosea, which is the first rec mission I recommend anybody to do, like once you've done some of this stuff, Hosea is gonna unlock the stable and he's also gonna unlock the ledger and he's gonna unlock the legendary bear. So when you're first getting the horseshoe overlook, you wanna check those things out and do his mission. Um but once you do that, when you kill a bear in that mission, you get big game meat. So this is what I'm using. The big game meat, I, you get five pieces of big game meat with a bear. So I'm taking and I'm, I'm crafting and I'm eating, crafting one uh, and stowing it and then eating and stowing it. So uh, you guys can see that my inner cores are gold on all of them. And now I'm going to take a tonic. So now the outside and the inside are all gold. So that means like my stamina, my health. And my dead eye, it's going to take a minute for those to, before they need to be refilled. So now you're going to, instead of getting into a fight and, you know, maybe losing, those things help you, prevent you from um, losing, draining cores really quickly. Next thing you want to do is take the train. You want to start using the train to unlock the map. Because as you can see, like when you first load into the game, the train, the map can, uh, is really small. But the train, if you take the train, the train comes with like six or seven locations automatically that you can trash travel to and start unlocking places on the map which is convenient because you're gonna need um, as you first get into chapter 2 you're gonna need the fence so you can start selling some of these um, items that you pick up the valuables that you pick up and you're gonna need um, the trappers so you can start selling some of these animals so if you like trying to do honorable and you don't want to do a bunch of stuff to get dishonorable but you need to make some money the trapper and the fence are what you're going to need. So you just go to the train and see all of those are automatic. You can travel to any of those places automatically as long as you have, you know, the money or whatever through the train. So that's how the train system works. So first place I would go is St. Denis because St. Denis has a trapper and a fence in that town. So you, you don't even have, you're going to get there further on as you progress in the story. You'll, you'll get there. But if you go ahead and unlock it from the beginning, don't have to be looking around trying to find where you're supposed to put, um, you know, your big game animals that are stowed on the back of your horse or where to sell valuables so you can make some money um, here and there. Because anytime you rob, any, you loot like the Lemoyne Raiders or any of those people that you have to fight against, like the bad guys or whatever, anytime you get into it with a rival gang, they usually always have some type of like platinum watch or gold earrings or something like that and you sell that stuff at the fence okay so when you first get there if you haven't bonded well with your horse yet your horse may not show up so like where I was um, my horse did not show up normally like once you get your bonding level up with your horse um, your horse will show up even when you take the train and stuff like that but because I had just gotten into this game my horse didn't show up but there's a stable as well in St. Denis so anytime you lose your horse or your horse is too far away from you on the map if you're so you just try to get to a stable um, if you haven't paid for one in the camp yet but like I said in St. Denis right beside the train station is a stable so I'm just gonna run in here and there's an option under manage owned horses where you can retrieve your horse so yeah I'm gonna go in here in the stable manage owned horses and then I you press A to retrieve. So my horse that was all the way is still in Valentine is out now. So that's a little quick tidbit note. If you're ever trying to retrieve a horse, go to the stable. All right. So you see the bear that I killed is on the back of there. Now we're in St. Denis. So up to the top right, you're going to see the trapper and the fence are right beside each other. They're in the same little market center. So I, um, I have this bear. Just a side note, if you kill a legendary animal and say something happens to it or anything like that, let you will not lose your legendary animal because there's only one in the game. Now, if you if you're in an if you kill just a regular animal and it might be a perfect pelt, but it's not legendary, 
if you uh, lose it or something happens or you get killed, you're going to lose the animal. But your legendary animals, they're already being sent to the fence and the trapper. But, so I have this bear pelt. I'm going to take it over here and the trapper's right here. You just hit left trigger on them, right on the D-pad to sell. And these are all the items you can sell them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sell a couple things to them. But the trapper is also useful for if you are if you didn't store any winter clothes to your horse and you find yourself somewhere where you're in cold weather and you see that your health is deteriorating, you see your heart, your cores are deteriorating fast, it's because you're cold. Um, you can also check that under your player, under the start menu, and go under player and it'll tell you about how your player is feeling. But if you just go over to a trapper, Whatever you've unlocked or whatever you've already purchased, you can put it on at the trapper. If you're if you're too far away from like somewhere to change your clothes, or if you didn't want to buy a room, the trapper is closest. Then go by the trapper, and you can put on whatever clothing that you can you've already uh, sold to them or purchased from there, so that you can warm up. So I just threw on that bear head. I purchased it and I threw it on. So this is the fence in that same area. So you just leave by the trapper, make a right, then the first left, then a right, <laughs> and the fence is right in that same plaza. The fence is where you're going to go to get dynamite. He's also where you're going to go to get pamphlets to like craft certain things like poison arrows and stuff like that. You have to buy the pamphlet from the fence. It's also where you're going to go to sell valuable items. But just be careful when you're selling valuable items because some of those things um, may be needed in missions later. So just... Be mindful. I sell a lot of the watches and belt buckles. They're not really needed, but bracelets and things like that. Silver chain bracelets, hard to come by. You can still, all right, so this is where that gold bar we got at the beginning. You can see I'm at the trapper and, and I mean, I'm at the fence and I'm able to sell it. These things. So that's another way you can make money. I sold the gold bar. So you see my money has went up. And I'm selling whatever I don't need right here so that is a key thing so maybe it may have taken 10 to 20 minutes to do this stuff but now you're starting the game with you know certain places unlocked you know how to fast travel you got $500 to the positive and um, you know and now you can get into the missions feeling a little bit more comfortable and not broke and not know what's going on <laughs> so also um, like I said, you can buy dynamite from the fence, and you can also get um, the pamphlets that you need. But again, with the pamphlets, be sure, because I, I realized in my first run through, <clears throat> I didn't realize that you had to read the pamphlets. I thought if you picked them up, you knew how to do it. But you actually have to purchase them and do them. You can also get trinkets from here, and the trinkets also give you increases. And... <clears throat> as soon as you purchase a trinket, you get increases on weapons or um, life or stamina. So you, you guys can go through all the details on that. Um, the next thing I would do would be ride the stagecoach. So the train and the stagecoach have two different options because the train is not everywhere. The train doesn't go everywhere. The stagecoach doesn't go everywhere. So, And the stagecoach only goes to places where you have already been. So, the stagecoach is convenient uh, for places like when you're going through the map and you're like, okay, well, this ha doesn't have a train station, but it has a stagecoach, like Blackwater. It doesn't have a train station, but it has a stagecoach or strawberry. So, anytime you can just go up to these little stagecoach thing and say, I've been to Valentine, so it just shows me, like, okay, I've unlocked Valentine, so I can go there on the stagecoach. But... I was like, okay, I want to unlock something else, so let me go into St. Denis has a stagecoach and a train station. So I'm just going to go in and take the train to Rhodes and go see what Rhodes is like. Morning to you. Unlock that on my map. I'm kind of new to these parts. Hmm. Behind you, ma'am. What on How are you, ma'am? But yeah, these are some ways to, you know, just get through quickly. Get through it quickly. Things I wish I would have done before in the beginning. Definitely unlocking the map. You don't have to like kick around in the towns or nothing. You just want to unlock so you can get an idea of more of what's in the area and animals to hunt. Especially if you're trying to play honorable. Um, you want to be killing more animals and less people because you lose points for killing people. 
Um, I mean, you get like, you know, dishonor points and then, and it's really hard to get your honor back up. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, it's easy to get it to go down, not so easy to get it to go back up. So if you start the game with your $500, you know how to, um, you know, you craft your big game items with the mint and the oregano um, and the creeping time. You're going to live longer. Um, if you fast travel, you'll get to places without so much of a hassle. So these are some tips that I thought you guys would, uh, that would make chapter two a little bit simpler when you first load into the game. Then the rest of it is just, you know, your own personal gameplay. The stagecoach seems to me like when I when the cutscenes, the stagecoach cutscenes seem shorter than the train cutscenes to me. Uh, just a word of advice: whenever you're going into Saint Denis, try to take the stagecoach because where the train lets you off is uh, in this awkward location, and your horse can get ran over by the train really easily in Saint Denis. So I would try to take stagecoach. So. Like, I just landed in Rhodes. I took the train to Rhodes. But now I'm going to use a stagecoach. And see now and with my stagecoach, like it's because I've been to St. Denis now. And now I got St. Denis and Valentine. So as you, that work, that fast travel works as you get to those places, they will unlock on the stagecoach. So if you go ahead and take the train and ride to all of those places, all those places will unlock, unlock, unlock on your stagecoach. And if you walk around in some areas that don't have a train and you just stumble across it, they'll show up in your stagecoach stage as well. Let me through. So I'm about to take the stagecoach. I, I think I'm going back to Valentine. There's some other little tidbit pointers that I didn't put in this video. If you want to rob somebody that's on like on a campsite or something and you see them you see the smoke and you go over by them and they're aggressive they don't want to talk to you use the rope if you rope the people and hog tie them they will not um, you won't get negative points as long as you rope them and don't loot them you can loot their stuff just don't loot them the person and you'll you'll be able to rob them without getting losing any honor points so didn't get a chance to put that in this video but it's a tidbit for you guys okay back to fast traveling because this map is extensive so it's another thing if you unlock fast travel this way I think I use the train and the stagecoach more than I use my my fast travel map the fast travel map is about five hundred and fifty dollars you got to buy two things in the ledger so like I was telling you before you have to do the Hosea mission the mission that starts with an H um to unlock this ledger book so um when you get in you'll be able to donate to your camp but you won't see this ledger book until you do the hosea mission but once you open a ledger book you'll see lodging you'll see these things that you can buy and um under lodging you'll see the first two items if you buy the first two you can five about five hundred and twenty fifty dollars if you, if you buy those first two, you can use that gold bar you bought earlier, and, and it's going to unlock, unlock the fast travel map. Only thing about the five fast travel map is that it is one way. Now, the fast travel map will travel you anywhere, like anywhere you've been, anywhere, it'll travel you there. It doesn't matter if there's a train there or a coach there, it'll take you there. Only problem with it is it's one way, and it's not often once you get far out and start exploring you're not really at your camp a lot so it's, it's only at your camp also when you donate donate in increments of 20 they help your honor points faster so like I did a $20 bill on that one that's why my my honor went up donate in increments of 20 but you can see this is the fast travel map so I hope I hope this helps you guys out catch you next time all right thank you guys for stopping by my channel make sure you stay tuned to my channel so that you can get my weekly daily uploaded videos gaming videos i'm thinking about adding poker to this channel let me know in the comment section do you guys want a tutorial on how to play poker i play poker in my real life i love poker but right now on my channel we got gta 5 we got red dead redemption 2 and we also have forza horizon 4 some videos on there so make sure you like subscribe hit the buttons okay just hit all the buttons like subscribe comment notifications let's communicate and um enjoy 
and I will catch you guys next week. Oh. You boys all cap, I'm more Colin Kaepernick. I'm rare as affordable health care. Oh, God. Or going to wealth from welfare. God. I turn my W's to MC, I flip those. I might buy a red bottoms with the crypto. Three coins, that'll pay your whole semester. Sure, sure. But you gotta ride it better than a Tesla. Big Bank's